House Dior signed Depp as the face of their men's fragrance, Savage, and he was inducted as a Disney legend. After a decade of appearing mainly in independent films with varying commercial success, Depp became one of the biggest box office draws in the 2000s with his role as Captain Jack Sparrow in Walt Disney Studios' Pirates of the Caribbean franchise. The five films in the series have earned $4.5 billion US dollars as of 2021. In addition to the Pirates franchise, Depp also made further four films with Tim Burton that were major successes, with one, Alice in Wonderland, 2010, becoming the biggest commercial hit of Depp's career and one of the highest-grossing films in history. In 2003, the same year as the first film in the Pirate series was released, Depp was named World's Sexiest Man by People. He would receive the title again in 2009. During the decade and into the 2010s, Depp was one of the biggest and most popular film stars in the world and was named by public vote as favorite male movie star at the People's Choice Awards every year for 2005 through 2012. In 2012, Depp became the highest paid actor in the American film industry, earning as high as $75 million per film, and as of 2020, is the 10th highest grossing actor worldwide with his films having grossed over 3.7 billion US dollars at the United States box office and over 10 billion US dollars worldwide. Although a mainstream favorite with the audiences, critics' views on Depp changed in the 2000s, becoming more negative as he was seen to conform more to the Hollywood ideal. Regardless, Depp continued to eschew more traditional leading man roles until towards the end of the 2000s, when he starred as John Dillinger in Public Enemies, 2009. Depp and makeup artist Laurie and Allison were married from 1983 until 1985. In the late 1980s, he was engaged to actresses Jennifer Grey and Sherilyn Fenn before proposing in 1990 to his Edward Scissorhands co-star Winona Ryder, for whom he tattooed Winona Forever on his right arm. Between 1994 and 1997, he was in a relationship with English model Kate Moss. Following his breakup from Moss, Depp began a relationship with French actress and singer Vanessa Paradis, whom he met while filming The Ninth Gate in France in 1998. Depp began dating actress Amber Heard, with whom he had co-starred in The Rum Diary, 2011. The couple married in a civil ceremony in February 2015. Heard filed for divorce in May 2016 and obtained a temporary restraining order against Depp, alleging in her court declaration that he had been verbally and physically abusive throughout their relationship, usually while under the influence of drugs or alcohol. Depp denied these claims and alleged that she was attempting to secure a premature financial resolution. A settlement was reached in August 2016, and the divorce was finalized in January 2017. Heard dismissed the restraining order, and they issued a joint statement saying that their relationship was intensely passionate and at times volatile, but always bound by love. Neither party has made false accusations for financial gain. There was never any intent of physical or emotional harm. Depp paid her a settlement of US 7 million US dollars, which she pledged to donate to the ACLU and the Children's Hospital Los Angeles, CHLA. In 2018, Depp brought a libel lawsuit in the UK against news group newspapers, NGN, publishers of The Sun, which had called him a wife beater in an April 2018 article. The case had a highly publicized trial in July 2020, with both Depp and Heard testifying for several days. In November 2020, the High Court of Justice ruled that 12 of the 14 incidents of violence claimed by Heard were substantially true. The court rejected Depp's claim of a hoax and accepted that the allegations Heard had made against Depp had damaged her career and activism. Following the verdict, Depp resigned from the Fantastic Beasts franchise, after being asked to do so by its production company, Warner Brothers. Depp appealed the verdict, with his lawyers accusing Heard of not following through on the charity pledge, and that the pledge had significantly influenced the judge's view of Heard. In response, Heard's legal team stated that she had not donated the full amount yet due to the lawsuits against her by Depp. Depp's appeal to overturn the verdict was rejected by the Court of Appeal in March 2021. The Court of Appeal did not find the argument that the charity pledge influenced the outcome convincing, as the judge in the trial had reached their verdict by evaluating the evidence related to the 14 alleged incidents of violence, the issue of the donation was not part of it, but a comment made after the verdict had already been reached.
In addition to suing The Sun in 2018, Depp also sued Heard for defamation in Virginia, U.S. in early 2019 over an op-ed she wrote about abusive relationships, which had been published by The Washington Post in December 2018. Depp alleged that Heard had been the abuser, that her allegations constituted a hoax against him, and that as a consequence, Disney had declined to cast him in future projects. Heard countersued Depp in August 2020, alleging that he had coordinated a harassment campaign via Twitter and orchestrating online petitions in an effort to get her fired from Aquaman and L'Oreal. In October 2020, the judge in the case dismissed Depp's lawyer Adam Waldman after he leaked confidential information covered by a protective order to the media. Following the verdict in Depp's lawsuit against The Sun the next month, Heard's lawyers filed to have the defamation suit dismissed, but Judge Penny Askert ruled against it because Heard had not been a defendant in the UK case. In August 2021, a New York judge ruled that the ACLU must disclose documents related to Heard's charity pledge to the organization. The trial in Depp v. Heard started in Fairfax County, Virginia, on April 11, 2022.